Well, stocks have been trying to break out of the range. They've traded in all year long. If you're a buy and hold investor, chances are you're a little bit frustrated with the lack of activity in that portfolio. Others, however, they don't care which way the market goes. They want to profit regardless. One of those is Joseph Parnes. He's editor of Shortex. That's an investment newsletter. He's also president at Technomart Investment Advisors. Joseph, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So you play both the long side and the short side of the market for your uh, clients. Which is making you the more money this year? I think it uh, depends on the objective of the clients, that the way we are sort of a strategy that we use to put the accounts for. Uh, I would say a combination of both makes money for them. Uh, there are times that shorts probably will do better because of the downside that we have had in the marketplace. But really in the past two, three months, so to speak, uh, the market has been really stabilized and the line has done very well, especially in the, in the field and the sector of the technology. Uh, and we'll talk about that in some of your likes and dislikes. Well, let me ask the question maybe a different way. Where are you finding more opportunities, going long or selling short? I, I think uh, we try to uh, arrange it so that it will not be short-term minded, so to speak. Okay. But definitely in the short term uh, that we have had, the shorts has done much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, we try to set up the portfolios in a long position, in a long time frame of maybe two to three years. I see. And many of them, even if they have been hit hard in the marketplace that we have had, the percentage of the down has not been that much. In our judgment, they really are doing very well. Well, you've right? got to be encouraged with the S&P 500 close to a four-year high then. Oh, absolutely. I, okay. I, th I think uh, you sort of, uh, those are one of the gauges, one of the main indicators that you want to have. Uh, the S&P 500, of course, being the four-year high right, right. now. And also, you want to see the 600, the small caps yep. also do it well, as well as some of the sectors that probably will be a push into the market to go up, namely the uh, semiconductor index. Joseph, let's drill down. And what are some of the likes that you uh, are buying into on the long side? Well, on the long side, we have been uh, zeroing on medical uh, field, mm -hmm. especially a, a one in particular which we have, which we have positions in it as well. It's Forest Lab. Forest Labs, FRX, the FRX. ticker on that one, right. And I guess our, our condition is that the, the, com the company has been hit hard, has been depressed to some mm -hmm. extent because of the depression market, the, 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 the kind of a drug that they brought in the depression market. We think it has been stabilized to some extent, Lexapro. And companies, the likes of the Pfizer, maybe uh, the large companies on that size, maybe looking for the companies so, so much like that to be a candidate or at least acquire them. Uh, maybe an M&A play, huh? Well, that's right, exactly. Okay. Like Pfizer's because it may be losing the patent on their flagship of the Zola, for example. Right, so you like you like Forest Labs on the long side. What about the short sale? What well, do you short, short sales, we like to see companies that has been hit not only hard because of the uh, of the demand part, that possibly that the earnings probably would be flattened. The Can growth you give us a name? Not, well, like it's still, uh, still technology, STTX mm -hmm. is a good one. They expect in the lower earnings for the third quarter, and the per expected earnings of the 42 cents versus 82 cents, not very much calling for. But Joseph, you've heard about a country named China and the appetite for steel, haven't you? Yes, exactly. But some of this <laughs> is remember when 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 the companies sort of put on their plants in operations and the demands coming in. Sometimes they go overboard. They exaggerated the production to a point. Oversupply. Uh, exactly, oversupply. Okay. And then the price and the demands in the marketplace will fall, and that's what you want to get into. STTX, that STTX. one you're short, correct? Exactly. All righty. Thank you, Joseph, for sharing the insights. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And on. the strategy. Joseph Parnes is editor at Shortex, that's an investment newsletter, also president at Technomart Investment Advisors. Well, this could